What's up, everybody? Long day, man. Freaking tile work. Just laid a big uh, basement job um, tile. Freaking annoying. 20, 20 by 6, you know, fake looking wood type stuff. Uh, at least it cut easy, so that was that's that's better than not cutting easy. Um, God, I hate it, I hate it, but it, but pays pays me. So uh, I've got some table legs to do, big ones, it's ten, four at like forty some inches, forty seven, and six of them at like uh, thirty thirty eight or something like that. I don't I don't recall off the top of my head. Thirty three. Um, the big the five by five poplar paint grade. Nothing super fancy. Bead, 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 uh, hourglass bead, and then a big cove at the bottom. Um, I've already turned a couple of them. I am going to chuck you up here and show you uh, the process of how I do one. And we'll take it from there. I'm going to show you the drawing and I'm gonna let you get a peek of that. And then, then we'll start turning. All right. All right, so that's the drawing. Um, four and a half inch block, one inch bead, half inch bead, flat spot, one inch bead to like an hourglass type shape bead, and then a big cove to another block. Um, five and a half poplar, like I said, I think they're going to end up putting pins in the top so they can attach it to table bases and table bottoms so they can just drill a hole and then attach it. It's my guess. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do, but that's what it looks like. So let's do it. I'm going to throw you up there and we'll start spinning. All right, so all I did was there. All I did there was um, come down my four and a half and come up my five and a half. Mark with pencil, and then take a um, box cutter and scribe lines. So it uh, it's definitely off balance. It's annoying. Um, scribe lines, so it's like I said, acts like a bridge and stops chips from going that way in theory. But, all right, I'm gonna start spinning here. A few more safety steps and we're off.
But your groove don't last too long I hung in there for years now Same old tricks, same old charms No, no I still love you so much, baby But I think I'm moving on Say it, come on. Ain't like it just to me. Said your Joan ain't what it used to be. No, no, no. Ain't like it just to me. Oh, I paid attention this time. I'm not gonna lose my mind. Cause things ain't like they used to be. Girlfriend, she said we got to stop this thing, thing. Wanna talk about the love now? The only time you got to say. So I thought about what I'm losing. That drama don't live here no more. No, no. So I better get to stay. Alright, hopefully you saw that. Um, I just got a rough turn around to the biggest diameter I could get out of this block. Uh, made my few marks and then we're going to start turning the detail. Setting the depths and making the beads. Alright, here we go. I just, I just don't know So I thought about the music, yeah Now I'm dancing across this floor No, no You can keep your daytime gig, man I live at night what I need you for Because things ain't like they used to be Everybody say it, come on All right, so uh, that was sanded uh, with um, 100 and then to one, just jump right to 150. It's paint grade, doesn't have to be that awesome. Now I'm going to buff it. Uh, this thing was way out of balance. It was kind of a pain in the butt, but um, sometimes you can put counterweights on certain parts and tape them on. Uh, that's what I've done before, but most of the time I just power through it. Uh, so I'll buff it with a piece of paper and we'll stand it up and I'll show you what we got. Alright, so that's it. I got three of them here. I got one more big one to do. Um, this one was super out of balance, which is a pain in the butt. That thing started out at 24 pounds and it ended up at 13 pounds, which is crazy. Um, I wasn't, you know, just kind of doing production mode through these couple. Uh, made clean cuts, but not beautiful cuts. So if there were any tool marks and this being poplar, if it was anything else, I'd, it'd be a different story. But be, this being poplar, I started with 100 grit and uh, it gets rid of those two mar tool marks pretty well. So um, as long as my bead profile and shapes were the right, 
right size and, and whatever. Any tooling got erased with sandpaper. I started with 100 and then went straight to 150 and then buffed it with a piece of paper. Uh, so paint grade really, that was probably un all unnecessary, you know, especially the buffing of the paper is unnecessary, but I like to do it. That's all of them. Um, yeah, look pretty good. I think they'll work. All right, that's it. So uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I see a lot of people aren't subscribed, but do whatever you want to do. But if you're here for, for some wood tiring, hit that hit that subscribe button because there'll be more. Um, hit that like button too. That doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. It's free, and uh, it helps out. So that's what we got. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there, and I'll see you on the flip side.